Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Ba'ashim Racha HaKodash, double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the house of David, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation, and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. It's the brother Atazawam, uh, real quick, uh, you know, saw through the spirit, I see, um, <clears throat> I just seen this video that the elder apostle Tahar did entitled the children of this world are wiser than the children of light right and he uh you know was, was talking about uh this video that um is uh, uh basically about um i think it's uh uh new york policemen the the nypd and the fire department um fire department uh, uh firemen that were out there uh today if i'm not mistaken I'm protesting about the um, the dragon juice, all right, the serpent's juice, and um, they were saying about because the deadline is today um, or tomorrow. No, I think the deadline is November first, if I'm not mistaken. So they um, were saying that about seventy percent of the fire department is only is juiced. So about thirty percent of people in the fire department aren't juiced, and about. Um, 70 i want to say this at 73 or 76 percent of the police department in new york city is juiced so that's about what 24 percent that are unjuiced and in this uh, video they were saying that if they don't change you know the protesters were saying basically if, if they don't you know um, uh, uh, stop the dates that they're going to have to close some uh, buildings and houses down because it's not going to be enough uh, firemen to, you know, uh, be be patrolling or be on call if in case an emergency. And um, you see from this picture, it's kind of, you know, blurry, but a lot of people out there are, you know, are Edomites, you know, and, and they are protesting against this these dates because this is their kingdom, you know, and, and they, for whatever reason, you know, they might have, you know, they, they are not with being um, coerced and um, uh, pressured tyrannically into, you know, taking that uh, that juice. Now, I seen this video, the, the video that the elder, you know, was speaking on. He didn't play it in this clip, but I seen this video this morning. And something I found interesting about it, when I'm going to go to it, because I had saved it, because I was going to, uh, you know, I was going to do a video on, on it myself this morning. But the spirit had me go into something else. But when you go to the video, look at the thumbnail. All right, that this is the video right here. NYC, uh, NYC, uh, Vanessa dates deadline looms for city workers, <laughs> and you have a, a poster or a flag or whatever that is of a serpent that says "Don't jab on me." Right, that's the thumbnail, and right next to it is to the is what the American flag. Okay, and. You know, because of these different um, strikes that that uh, YouTube gives for speaking on the on the on the Vanessa, you know, a lot of brothers have been you know calling it different things. But one thing that has been said, you know, by majority of brothers, you know, that have been uh, teaching, has been calling it what the serpent's juice or the dragon juice. You see, and I've never heard anybody else say that before. But I just goes to show you how that that hey, the words that we're speaking carry a vibration, man. All right. The words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh that he has put in the, the mouths of the prophets carry a strong vibration to where we literally are manifesting through the spirit. You know, uh, uh, well, not us, but the Lord is using us as vessels to manifest things in reality, man. You know, that's how and that's why we say that, you know, prophesying is a form of spiritual power, because once again, I've never heard anybody outside of the, you know, outside of the truth, outside of brothers that, you know, uh, prophesy call the, uh, you know, the uh, the juicy juice, you know, the dragon juice or the serpent's juice. But this goes to show you that this is the Lord, man. You know, this is the Lord verifying that. This is, you know, the beast, okay? This is the beast system, okay, uh, um, trying to establish 
this uh, NWO, all right, trying to establish that Revelation 13, 15, uh, 16 on down. So I'm going to play this, uh, look, you know, quick. What if smartphones were more than just smart? The all-new Google Pixel 6 truly sees you, not a blurry face. With the most advanced and inclusive smartphone camera yet, Google Pixel 6. This morning, the city is scrambling to potentially replace thousands of first responders refusing to get vaccinated by today's deadline. <laughs> Hundreds of firefighters and other city workers showed the mayor their defiance over the mandate outside Gracie Mansion. On November 1st, there's going to be a crisis in this city. If 30 to 40 percent of New York City firefighters are sent home, we will have to close houses. Currently, vaccinations with the FDNY and EMS stand at about 70 percent. Those who won't get it. So the the um, FDNY, which is the fire department and the EMS, which is what the those emergency uh, um, services that that your your your, your ambulance, all right, um, whoever you know the people that that first responders that come on the scene, they're saying that what that thirty percent of those people are not going to be um, eligible to work, and crime is going up in in, in especially in New York City, man, all right. And the scripture talks about fires oft, often set that, that the Lord is going to have happen in these last days. So there's going to be more of these plagues that the Lord is sending and less people to respond to these plagues, which is going to cause what? Pandemonium, chaos, destruction. Won't be paid starting Monday. However, some plan on coming to work anyway. And I'll never back down, and I'll never take that poisonous shot. The mayor says they will get their <clears> pay <throat> reinstated once proof of vaccination is shown. Yeah, you Until see, then, there's a lot of Edomites out there, man. Okay, that division, all right, that uh, uh, Satan house divided. This is going. To, this is going to brew up the the uh, uh, second edges, the ninth chapter, the uproars of the people, which already been happening, but. When you got these people that, because the mayor said he's not backing down, all right, and, and these people, the Lord put it in these people's spirits that they're not backing down. So that Egyptian versus Egyptian, okay, not regarding their kings or princes in the, in the, in the course of their actions, standing their power, sedition among men. Because once your livelihood is affected, and especially of the children of this world, because they feel as though that they have their, you know, this is their kingdom, their entitlement, they, they have entitlements. Uh, um, to this, you know, to this kingdom, and they're feeling that they're being oppressed. Okay, and and there's <laughs> nothing, you know, uh, uh, you see an Edomite feeling oppressed in his kingdom. They don't, they they don't handle that well, man. All right, they take up arms. They 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 react to that violently. So when they stop getting paid. When they lose their jobs, you think that they're not going to just go off into the into the sunset and just take it on the chin? Nah, they want to strike back, man. And you're going to see social unrest in in these streets, man, in these major cities, uh, uh, starting over here in New York City. All right, where the word of Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai in Babylon was first, you know, preached. They'll be replaced with overtime shifts. I am not having second thoughts. Um, we expected that a lot of the vaccinations would happen toward the end of the deadline. Uh, we also know a lot of people make the decision once they really realize that they're not going to get paid. The NYPD's vaccination rate is slightly higher at 76%, but the unions say that's still roughly 10,000 members without the shot. One Ooh. police plaza is planning for a similar staffing scenario. However, the current climate among cops is so bad, sources tell PIX11 News the department is holding a retirement fair this weekend for those who want out. The commissioner with this vaccination appeal. You got to do it now to be able to help me and to help the city and to keep you and your partners and your family safe from this. This city is still offering that $500 vaccine incentive if, of course, you get it by the 5 p.m. Oh, I'm Anthony DiLorenzo, Pix 11 News. But yes, yeah, so I'm going to go back because they go show you. This weekend, however, they say, don't bother showing up on Monday. <laughs> Reporting from downtown Brooklyn, I'm Anthony DiLorenzo, Pix 11 News. So let's go back to where that, is, that uh, spot 
where you see that uh, poster. City workers showed the mayor their defiance over the mandate. Out I don't know why I didn't play that at first. Let me see. Using to get vaccinated by today's deadline. <laughs> Hundreds of firefighters and other city workers showed the mayor their defiance over the mandate. There you go. Okay. <laughs> you know, hey, and that's, and like I said, man, it's the spirit that this was the thumbnail. That dragon juice, man. And they got, they got the, the serpent, which that serpent Esau Edom from the garden became this full blown dragon that is uh, uh, going around the world. All right, uh, uh, pressuring, let's go get it. Pressuring, you know, all to uh, bow the knee. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 11. It says, and I beheld another beast coming up out of the, out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. All right. Which a dragon, basically, what, a great serpent. <laughs> okay? And that's what Esau has, has uh, his system, his, his uh, uh, um, kingdom has turned into a great serpent. Okay? And when you go into that word, as we always say, dragon, uh, drago, okay, which goes into um, draconian um, uh, laws, man. And that's is what that's what they're they're um, protesting these draconian laws that uh, uh, Babylon the Great and you know Bab starting with Babylon the Great being the whore that sent upon the dragon, but you know all all of Esau's you know uh, um, system is is uh, pressuring and oppressing the the, the world to um, submit to his will. Okay, so, yeah, man, I just wanted to bring that out, and I just thought that was uh, real spiritual and interesting that you had that right there, then right to the right of it, or to the left when you're looking at it, um, you had the, the American flag, man, and the serpent is looking right at the American flag, so, you know, that just goes to show you, man, that uh, uh, this is that place, man, this is Babylon the Great, okay, and this is the beast system. This this dragon, you know, uh, um, you know, flexing and, and and spewing his his uh, poison, okay, upon the people by by uh, draconian means. So uh, you know, with that, call out Yahweh Bashim Al Shai Bashim Rakakudash Shalom.